Every fall, scientists from around the globe embark on a journey to the top of the world. Since 2002, the Nansen and Amundsen Basin Observation System, or NEBOS, cruise has taken place annually in the high Arctic Ocean. The research conducted on this expedition is broadening the understanding of the Arctic as a system by providing vital observational data for international collaborative science. Sailing from Kirkenes, Norway, the expedition travels along a path deep into the Laptev and East Siberian seas. To give a broad picture of ocean activity, the route is strategically located in areas key to circulation patterns and along the deeper basins and shallow shelf boundaries. A warm pulse of water from the Atlantic Ocean is just one of the discoveries that the researchers have been tracking over the past few years. Across their route, researchers investigate a wide variety of components of the Arctic climate system by gathering information about current conditions. Measurements in both the air and ocean are collected regularly in a variety of ways using new and advanced technologies. Water samples and data are collected on the NABOS cruise for the analysis of ocean turbulence, greenhouse gases, alkalinity, salinity, currents, and temperature. Plankton and other sea life are also examined, and meteorological measurements are taken daily. Using special collection apparatus, such as this rosette, water samples are retrieved from different depths and used by multiple researchers for their experiments. Moorings are anchored on the bottom of the ocean below the active ice layer. They are important data collection devices that are deployed and retrieved each year. When the icebreaker is close to the area of the previous year's deployment, the ship first talks with the mooring and sends a signal that causes it to detach from the anchor and return to the surface. The mooring is brought aboard ship where data is retrieved. It is then cleaned up and reconfigured with newer instruments and redeployed for another season. It will remain in the ocean collecting a wide variety of valuable data for a full year. Since the first expedition in 2002, the information collected on the NABOS cruises has been publicly available and analyzed by scientists around the world. This analysis has resulted in numerous scientific publications and has illuminated interesting and important results that help researchers understand how our world's changing climate affects the Arctic system and our planet.